Team, this is probably my, my most favorite question so far in the set that we've done. And I like it. It's from that Texas Science of Teaching reading test because this is something that could happen in any classroom, in a kindergarten classroom, right? It's very detailed. I could totally see this happening in the classroom. So I want you to take a moment. I want you to read it. I know it's longer. You can tell these harder questions are wordier. They're more detailed. Um, I want you to take two minutes and read it to yourself, and then we're going to go over it, okay? But I love this question, so let's take some time with it, all right? Take it two minutes, read it to yourself. I'll start now. Go. But I actually want to read it with you, okay? Uh, because I want to paraphrase it with you. And there are some teachers in this room that do work with kindergarten kids. And I think they're going to agree with me. They're like, yep, I've seen this happen before. And then there's other teachers in this room. You know, they're, they're going to be a reading specialist or they're, they're teaching in another grade. And they're like, no, I've never seen this before because that's not the age group I work with. Or you're like, uh, I, I'm not even working with kids yet. But that's okay. So, so you know, uh, the more you do, the more you know. You, you'll, get, you'll get exposure to this eventually, okay? But here, uh, a kindergarten teacher meets with individual students and asks them to point to words in the text of a familiar nursery rhyme as the teacher and student read the nursery rhyme aloud together. Okay, so they're reading a nursery rhyme together. Um, Ninny, nanny, nanny coat in a white petticoat with a red nose. The longer she stands, the shorter she grows. So they know this nursery rhyme. Uh, they're familiar with this nursery rhyme, right? All right. Some of the students demonstrate understanding of the directionality of print by sweeping their finger as they read. Ninny, nanny, nanny coat in a white petticoat. But, and here's the big thing. They're not able to accurately point to the individual words. So what's happening? Well, they're, they've re they're reciting it. Nanny, nanny, nanny coat, but they're not matching it up with nanny, nanny, nanny coat in a white petty, right? I mean, they, no one does that. I'm just doing it in my mind in front of the screen. But you get the idea, right? So one group of students, they're able to pronounce, they're able to read it out loud, but they're not able to match up uh, the sounds, the words that they're saying with the actual uh, words that are on the page, right? Um, and then it says here, other, another group of students, other students who readily associate letters with sounds, use their understanding to guide their finger as they point to the words that start with the sounds they hear at the beginning of the spoken word. So what does that mean? That's the group of students that is reading it as ninny, nanny, nanny coat in a white petticoat. They're, they're, they're pointing to every word in the beginning of the word as they say the word, right? So they're actually attending and decoding those words, or at least the initial sounds as, as they as they get going with it. I can't tell you how, this is so common, right? A lot of times students memorize a text or parts of a text, but they're still not quite decoding yet. They're, they've memorized words, but they're still, but when they get to a word, like let's say cat, or they get to a word uh, like, uh, 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 let's do uh, black, right? Or or something else, right? They they get they get stuck. There's they if they if they get to it, they might say cat, or but sometimes if they get to a word, they're not able to see there's a k at if they get stuck, or b l a k black, right? They're not able to jump into that decoding process if they get stuck at any point, and that would be an example where uh, they're sweeping their finger, going along with the text, but. They're not able to accurately point to the individual words as they read, right? Whereas the second group is doing it. They're, they're, they're going to the words, they're matching up with the words, their fingers crossing over the words as they say the sound. Okay, the second group of students clearly try, uh, clearly try to match their speech to the print as they say the word. The teacher can best use the results of this informal assessment to determine which students are able to what? Well, the second group of students that is matching up what they say with their speech, they're demonstrating the alphabetical principle, right? They're taking this and matching up with the sound, whereas other students, 
they're kind of skipping over it. And they may be sloshing it over a little bit. And what they're doing is they're not showing that, that they know how to line up letters with sounds. So they need a little bit more time with this to help them decode basic phonetically regular words like this, okay, using the alphabetical principle. It's a great question, team. I know there's other ideas there, but we spend a little time on this. See if you can understand why it's A, okay? Now, I know this is a, a, a group of a teachers here. Some of you uh, look at this question, you're like, it's obviously A. Some of you look at this question as like, I didn't really see that. I'm not exposed to this group of students. Some of you are just taking it in and you're maybe you're overwhelmed by the length of the question. I get it. This is a challenge question. This is supposed to be a little challenging. So, so uh, take it for what it is. Um, try and read over the question a few more times so you start to understand it a little bit better until you start to understand the problem that that student, that the first group of students is having with the alphabetical principle and try and understand, you know, why that is, uh, that's, that's the issue that needs to be worked on. Okay. All right. The answer is A, and this is from uh, this test here, Science of Teaching and Reading, which I, I really enjoy. And it's got some lots of great vocab and some new ideas here. Directionality, sweeping the finger, all these ideas here. Nice, nice, uh, nice question. Okay. All right. Let us continue. Uh, and now we're going to move into a new section. Okay. We're going to move into a writing session. Let's, uh, let's continue team.